we cannot settle. It would be like a sacrifice, you know? But what's the point? Discovering truth, you stand in the light of truth. Your truth, your sun, your sun energy, what can make you truly happy? And the other person may discover a harsh truth because you are not interested in this connection anymore. You have to ask yourself if this is the connection for you, if you want to be in this type of position, and if the answer is no, you have to manifest the change that can be the better for you. Hi guys, welcome to the channel, general love reading for my friends Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's go for this one and let's find out together what's coming through for you. The Grim Reaper, the relationship is over, no second chances, grow and transform your life. Girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable boundaries. Bottom of the deck, we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party, interference. So, three challenging energies when it comes to a situation that may be already over or can be over because it is just a matter of time. Ask for help from others. Look for a sign and not the right time, bottom of the deck. So, guys, let's see what the Tarot has to say about these energies. Here we go. So, current situation, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Challenge, Four of Swords, Crowning Energy, Two of Cups, Core of the Situation, King of Cups, In the Past, Five of Pentacles, In the Future, The Magician, Our Focus, Two of Swords, A Crossroads, A Choice, we have the Hierophant, bottom of the deck, guys, an energy about marriages, partnerships, commitment, let's say, there is a structure, solid foundations involved. But this is also an energy that can be about choices, indeed, for me. How can we manifest a goal in a way that can stand the test of time, in a way that can be reliable, grounded? And it seems that some of you can be in a position that can be challenging. It can. Because we are looking at a flow of energies that can be about a connection fairly young, guys. The Two of Cups, crowning energy, beautiful, we can agree. But we should uh, put the energy in perspective because it can be an aspiration, you know, the opportunity to embrace a partnership with someone that can share virtues and values, someone that can be a fair companion. Um, that's why this energy for me is a chance to grow together with a special person. But some of you have to think about a connection that uh, may not be the one for you. I have to say that, unfortunately, because of the Oracle cards, the Grim Reaper, Girl with a Snake, and Seduction. The Seduction Oracle card is basically the Ace of Wands. And some of you can deal with a partner 
or I should say maybe a love pretender uh, more than a partner because this person can rush in whenever they want to do that in order to be with you but the interaction seems to be a little bit superficial page of swords and when I say superficial I mean that there can be a lot of attraction, there can be chemistry, you can like each other even in a meaningful way because the attraction can be undeniable but what about love, what about heart, what about feelings and emotions? The Ace of Cups is a gift that starts from within and it should be shared with someone that is able to reciprocate it the challenge for of swords is an energy that should be an encouragement to think things straight because we have a choice to make and the choice is a meaningful one because what if the vision the goal uh, when it comes to long-term plans is different between some of you and some of your love pretenders and so king of cups core of the situation is about feelings kept under the surface i would say that um, we have not talked about love in a meaningful way it is fair to say that the connection has already become intimate for some of you but we are not opening up when it comes to the voice of our heart in a connection and the five of pentacles in the past is an energy that deserves attention guys because um, this is about feeling left out in the cold we can say that but as a feeling this one is about an interaction that started a certain amount of time ago but without offering the proper perception that solid foundations were involved and it seems truly a matter of seduction attraction flirting even dating we can say that temptation this can be a temptation because the other person is playing quite a lot on the passionate side of your interaction but it seems that some of you may perceive somehow some way that we are lacking something more and the magician in the future is a call to action basically it's the opportunity to fulfill the choice the crossroads two of swords related there is the moon in the background in the two of swords it should be like a warning guys to be honest because the moon is an energy about the unknown something that can be different from how it seems ask for help from others can be um, like an encouragement to ask for advices the page of swords can even do that because it can be an energy about gathering knowledge look for a sign writings on the wall is the choice of words that is coming to my mind what if the other person can already demonstrate that the goal is different between the two of you nine of wands this is about a disappointment basically kinda like the connection is not up to the task if we think at the opportunity to become a couple you know the chariot this is a desire for success but this can also become an energy about moving on as soon as the interaction is over and the two of swords coming around one more time the posture of the lady is meaningful she is closed off she is kind of blocking love this can go two ways guys because some of you may be dealing with someone that is not willing to commit they enjoy the passionate side of an interaction let's say even the physical side the sexual side but 
they can refuse to bring heart in favor of the connection and this can be a deal breaker for others of you the two of swords energy is your posture allow me to say as soon as you realize that the other person may just want to have fun with you and that's why the seduction oracle card can become a tricky energy following the girl with a snake because there is a pattern that is not healthy a pattern that can be even an opportunistic one you know coming from your love pretender let's see the four of swords guys because it is also an energy about silence it seems an interaction this one that if we take away the passionate side of it can describe two persons that do not have so much in common and the interaction can go cold ace of cups in the challenge some of you have to think carefully about this interaction because if there is no chance to share the ace of cups basically this connection cannot go anywhere ace of wands another recurrent energy in the challenge this can become a problem basically the ace of wands and the judgment which can be an energy about a second chance sometimes i do not feel that it is the case also because we have the keyword no second chances from the grim reaper oracle card this is a divine truth guys it's a final call judgment call um, your intuition plays a huge role because the judgment for me is a divine truth offered to those that are open to receive it some of you will have to listen to your heart because this can be even a fun interaction allow me to say but it seems that we are lacking key factors in order to be successful together as a couple let's see the two of cups ten of cups this is the higher goal it can follow the higher fund fulfillment of art and soul but in order to get to the ten of cups we have to start from the ace of cups as the opportunity to share love feelings and emotions the tower this is what can be just around the corner it is basically the grim reaper you know crumbling down of a situation or a connection that is not blessed by solid foundations and the tower can even be a sudden realization not a pleasant one we can say that but still sometimes the tower can even be a blessing in disguise that's why for me it can even represent the path to the star and the death card on point the grim reaper so the situation uh, is going to change guys because some of you um, can realize that the love pretender that is around you may just desire to have fun when it comes to the opportunity to be physically with you guys but they are not able to bring uh, something more and the death card is an energy that I personally love because it's an opportunity to sweep away leftovers from the past so that we can live an open field on an energy level and we can manifest new things more in alignment with wishes and desires if we think about the ten of cups or the two of cups um, they can be energies that describe a partnership well built well structured when it comes to the core values the core factors let's see the king of cups also an energy about emotional maturity two of pentacles juggling the situation this is an iffy connection especially if the other person keeps rushing in in order to be together you know but then i have to go away do not bother me because i do not have time uh, to talk about uh, love and all that jazz you know it's not pleasant to, to be honest guys 
uh, this situation because again it can be an opportunistic type of interaction if we um, think about this love pretender the emperor bossy figure taking charge and action guys but this can go two ways again so the other person can be a stubborn one they want it the way that they want it basically and this can become a problem because maybe they are thinking that they can get what they want on their terms there is no fair um, give and take you know and on the other hand this can become your energy kind of realizing that the situation is not for you you have to take care of it kind of calling uh, the situation out and kind of leaving it for good the sun this is about inner happiness guys it is an energy that can allow us to bring everything to light which can be important because if there is something that we do not like we should address it but inner happiness for me with the sun is about the courage of a person to understand where their happiness truly is and how it can be possible to pursue it um, that's why the chariot should be an encouragement to move on if you realize that there is fiery and um, passionate interaction I would say is not enough for you let's see the five of pentacles which can be about shaky foundations even more considering that the tower uh, showed up in the flow also communication running dry easily and fast as we were sharing ten of swords so this is about an ending guys in the past position I would say that um, the interaction was kind of doomed from the very beginning you know this can even be a gut feeling sometimes you know when it happens that we kind of know we kind of feel that the situation is not the one for us but maybe we give it a try because who knows things can change it was not the case unfortunately and the ace of pentacles another ace uh, maybe it was an offer but this is an offer that is blessed with trust and so I would say that you didn't get it this may have been an aspiration but again if we touch certain topics with this person they kinda avoid them because they are not interested in talking about those things and it's kinda like the potential ace of pentacles in favor of the connection was not even an option because of the mindset of the other person and it was off the table ten of swords we are not going to talk about it moving forward and this may have brought even five of pentacles energies within the connection because we are lacking the foundation in order for the interaction to be successful moving forward and so deal breaker I would say and the ten of swords is a rough energy guys it's a disappointment but it's another energy that we should put in perspective because we are not talking about a partnership you know it can even be a dating process and so the disappointment can be slightly different compared with the one that can be encountered if a major major uh, partnership or relationship comes to an end plus the other person my goodness how is the saying uh, they seem to be more like a player than a keeper you know so let's see the magician in the future making the best out of the tools that we can have at our disposal but for me the magician is the one with the higher vision you can see opportunities where other individuals cannot see anything five of cups missed chance and the two cups 
behind the back of the figure are not involved in this interaction. The aspiration is not uh, matched. Eight of Cups, on point, leaving something behind because it was not fulfilling enough and the brave man in the Eight of Cups, uh, that for me can be the fool, is ready to embrace a brave decision in order to go all out on an adventure pursuing his own ultimate emotional fulfillment. He is going for the two cups that are missing, basically. And the two of ones, I kinda love it, guys, because this is a soulful decision for me. An energy that can be an influence for the following chapters of the journey. This chapter is about to end, guys. But I would say that those of you that are still here watching uh, may have the chance to embrace a brave decision that can be absolutely for the best, you know? It's the chance to pursue bigger and better things. And look, the Four of Cups bottom of this Muller deck can be about someone unavailable, someone that is out of reach. I feel that this energy describes the other person. They are not willing to embrace love properly because this offer, the Divine One, can be the Ace of Cups. But they are closed off. And at some point, this energy can kind of shift because if the offer is just about sex basically coming from this love pretender the one that can embrace the role of the man under the tree can be uh, some of you basically not interested in just a fling just a, a casual interaction we are not going to embrace a temptation without a real chance to become a partnership and it is a missed chance if we want to call uh, this interaction uh, this way as soon as it finds its closing point if you ask me if you ask me it seems a wise decision coming from some of you because the other person may just uh, desire something different you know maybe they just want to have fun but those of you that are looking for a fair companion in order to share the ace of cups gift cannot settle for a situation like this one because it cannot offer in your favor the chance to find the hierophant energy when it comes to a partnership built and embraced in the proper way so the crossroads guys can offer in your favor truly the chance to turn the page in order to look for something new something better so let's see where these energies are going i hope that i made myself clear and this was helpful there is an extended on vimeo i'll see you there if you want to join me the link is below if you resonate let us know leave a comment like share and subscribe to the channel until next time i wish you the best take very good care of you and i will talk to you soon bye